We're talking neighborhoods this morning, specifically the Atlantic seaboard in Cape Town. Now, this includes the residential suburbs of Mully Point, Green Point, Sea Point, all the way through to Hout Bay. Now, these are neighborhoods that bring luxury, beautiful beaches with ocean views, extravagant properties, and stunning guest houses and hotels galore. When looking at it from a property point of view, what does it look like? Here to tell us more is CEO of private property, Simon Bray. Simon, so good to see you again. You too, Leah. Now, um, I, sp I live in Seapoint, but for anybody looking to know what this area is all about, who is going to fit here? Well, I mean, you're the neighborhood local, so <laughs> perhaps you should tell me. I'm uh, a renter, though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's obviously a very affluent area of South Africa. Mm. It's one of the uh, most affluent markets, actually, that we've got anywhere in the country. Uh, this is not for the uh, value conscious. Yes. It's certainly for the lifestyle conscious, the people that... Uh, are what you would call upwardly mobile or interested in, in uh, uh, their image and their appearance. And, and I think that's what uh, Atlantic Seaboard offers in bags. Yeah. It's a great example of how a, a uh, exclusive suburb can develop. You know, you've got the mountains behind, you've got the sea in front. It's a side of Cape Town that gets great weather. You know, you've got beautiful sun sets in the evenings. You've got less wind. And all of that makes it one of the best places in Cape Town uh, to have a home. And because it's squeezed between the ocean and the mountain like that, it's exclusive. You know, you can't find more land. You just have to see some of those apartments hanging off the cliffside in Clifton. Uh, and you can see why the property values uh, go as high as they do yeah. because it really is exclusive. Absolutely, it's beautiful. You have the ocean as your front yard, you have the mountain as your backyard, um, but I chose this area specifically because it was close to work. I mean, this is where Expresso is. But when we look at market value and price range, what are we looking at? Well, as I said before, this is the biggest, best market in South African property right now. So uh, just on private property, we've got 14 billion rands worth of real estate just in this Atlantic seaboard strip. So there's a lot of uh, money and property along the Atlantic seaboard. Uh, and to put that in perspective, uh, an average home here, average two bed flat is about 5 million rand. Yeah. An average house is about 12 million rand. Uh, and the most expensive property listed on private property right now is also in the strip, and that's uh, at 200 million rand. So. I'm already perspiring. I'm already <laughs> perspiring. Now, my apartment, one bedroom apartment, um, 75 square meters, was sold for 2.5 million rand. So it's, it's true what you're saying. But let's look at renting versus buying in these particular areas. Look, rental's still a great option because I think a lot of people have bought uh, into the Atlantic seaboard that don't necessarily live here. So either they have bought in for the investment potential, and it's great. I mean, the values have increased uh, double over the last five years. So it really is a growth market. So if you're looking for the lifestyle, yeah. the convenience that you spoke about, you know, the commute times, the beautiful weather, if you're looking for that, you can still get that at a fairly affordable price point. So to give you an idea, uh, buying one of those average two-bed flats is going to cost you 37, 38,000 rand on bond repayments and levies and all of that, but uh, rentals are about 20,000 rand. Mm. So it's certainly an affordable lifestyle yeah. uh, if, if that's what you're looking for. And then to end off, you did mention great access to the city, beautiful views, you're close to the beach. What's another reason that someone would choose to live in one of these neighborhoods? Well, I think one thing that uh, is interesting about the Atlantic Seaboard is how many foreigners uh, see this as a destination, not only for uh, themselves over the s beautiful summer months, but also for their capital. They like to invest it here. It's on the same time zone as Europe, which makes it just convenient and easy to manage. Uh, and you get a lot of foreign money coming into the, the Atlantic Seaboard market. Yeah. Uh, and I think you know, that's, a, that's another interesting part of the market. Yeah. Um, it's certainly something that's driving the values up. If you have a property in Cape Town, this December is probably a good time to put it on the market yeah. because the RAND doing what it's doing <laughs> uh, means that the, the yeah. value you can realize is going to be excellent. Awesome. Very quickly, do we have a Simon Bray tip of the day? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Atlantic Seaboard is definitely an example of how uh, exclusivity in a neighborhood can drive the property values. So if you see a, a neighborhood or a suburb that seems exclusive, it's worth investing because it's certainly going to appreciate ahead of the rest of the market. Well, the decision on the neighborhood you want to stay in is as easy as one, two, three. All you have to do is log on to www.privateproperty.co.za and let them guide you through the right neighborhood for you.
Whether it's your first apartment in the city, a trendy suburban townhouse, or that dream family home on a golf estate, there's a home for everyone on private property.